हेलो व्यूअर्स आई एम मिस्टर दिलीप कुमार पाल स्टैंड बिफोर यू विथ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ एनवायरमेंटल स्टडीज और ईवीएस एंड द नेम ऑफ द टॉपिक इज इंडस्ट्रियल पोल्यूशन एंड सो फार इज इंडस्ट्रियल पोल्यूशन इज कंसर्न इट्स थ्री एस्पेक्ट्स हैव बीन फोकस्ड इन दिस वीडियो वन इज द मीनिंग ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल पोल्यूशन नंबर टू इंपैक्ट्स ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल पोल्यूशन एंड नंबर थ्री रेमेडीज टू कंट्रोल इंडस्ट्रियल पोल्यूशन दिस इंडस्ट्रियल पोल्यूशन इज ए टॉपिक व्हिच इज ऑब्जर्व इन एनवायरमेंटल स्टडीज ऑफ प्लस थ्री फर्स्ट सेमिस्टर व्हिच इज कॉमन फॉर बोथ आर्ट्स कॉमर्स एंड Science students, and I request my viewers that on any topic you want, either from plus two first year to plus two second year political science, and plus three first semester to fifth semester political science, including environmental studies, just write my name Dilip Kumar Pal, and the name of the topic in YouTube, you will get videos of the topic both in Odia and English form. i request my viewers that if you have not subscribe my channel subscribe so that benefit will be yours and if any of your friends who are in above classes ever them to subscribe this channel so at least some students will know about this channel they will get the benefit and a single help to anybody be remember the help may come back to you let us start what is industrial pollution what is industrial pollution <clears throat> environment and living beings are closely related if environment is favorable for living beings then living beings are safe on the other hand if environment is not favorable for living beings there is probability of extinction of human being of living beings so environment should be made free from pollution and among environmental pollution industrial pollution is very dangerous pollution so environment and living objects have very close relationship the relationship is that if environment will be favorable then living objects or living beings are safe if environment will not be favorable if environment will not be suitable for living objects then there is chance for the extinction of living objects from the earth so environment and living objects are very closely related but environment must be kept free from pollution by this living objects will be safe and there are various types of pollutions in the environment the most important is environmental pollution it is a very dangerous dreadful pollution for the environment so what is environmental what is industrial pollution no doubt in the within the environment there are various types of pollutions but among these industrial pollution is a very dangerous pollution so what is a industrial pollution industrial pollution means industrial wastes industrial pollution means industrial wastes mainly particulate particulate means microscopic objects and poisonous gases which are being emitted through chimneys of industries like cement plants power plants paint factories breweries and pharmaceutical pharmaceutical industries so industrial pollution means particulate or microscopic 
objects and poisonous gases which are being emitted from the chimneys of factories. Mainly power plants, cement plants, breweries where uh, liquors are prepared, pharmaceuticals. These are very dangerous. So, industrial pollution means particulate objects as well as poisonous gases which are being emitted from the chimneys of factories, mainly cement plants, breweries, pharmaceuticals, paint factories, etc. Particulate objects and poisonous gases which are being emitted from the chimneys of these factories, they affect living objects nearby and create a dreadful and unhygienic environment. So, industrial pollution means particulate objects or microscopic objects as well as poisonous gases which are being emitted from chimneys of different factories. These particulate objects and poisonous gases which are being emitted from different factories to their chimneys, they affect living objects nearby. They create a very unhygienic condition in the area nearby. So you are clear what is the meaning of industrial pollution. So industrial pollution means particulate object or microscopic object or dust particles and poisonous gases which are being emitted from chimneys of different factories through their chimneys they affect living objects nearby it is known as industrial pollution now see impacts of industrial pollution if there will be industrial pollution what will be the impacts number one due to industrial pollution by coming in contact with poisonous gases Due to industrial pollution, by coming in contact with poisonous gases and particulate or dust particles, objects, objects, people suffer from DGS, DGS relating to their respiratory system. So the first impact of industrial pollution is that people or living objects coming in contact with these particular objects or microscopic objects or dust particles, as well as poisonous, poisonous gases, they suffer from different type of diseases relating to their respiratory system or they suffer from diseases mainly bronco diseases number two due to industrial pollution people suffer from various types of skin as well as eye infections so due to industrial pollution living objects those who are coming in contact with these particular objects as well as poisonous gases they suffer from different type of eye diseases as well as skin diseases. And another impact of industrial pollution is that industrial pollution create low visibility. People cannot see what is before them. So it due to low visibility, it leads to accidents, mainly of vehicle accidents. So we are clear about the meaning of industrial pollution and impacts of industrial pollution. Now let's see, remedies of industrial pollution, how industrial pollution will be checked. Mainly in the industrial pollution, two type of waste things, waste things materials are emerged. One is particulate objects, microscopic object, other one is the poisonous gases. So, in order to control particulate objects, there are two methods like cyclone collectors and ESPS, electronic electrostatic precipitator. So, in order to control particulate metals, microscopic objects or dust particles which are being emitted through chimneys of different factories, Two methods will have to be adopted. One is cyclone collector, other one is ESPS, electrostatic precipitator. 
and in order to control poisonous gases, gaseous pollutants, three other types of methods are applied. One is wet system, dry system, dry wet system. So first of all, take off in order to control particulate object, in order to control particulate object which were which are being emitted through chimneys of different factories, what methods will be applied? Number one is the cyclone collector, and number two is the ESPS, electrostatic precipitator. So, in order to control dust particle particles or particulate objects which are being emitted from chimneys of different factories, two methods will have to be applied. One is cyclone collector. So what is a cyclone collector? In the system, poisonous gases containing the particulate objects are forced into a chamber and given centrifugal force by which objects move around in a circular path by remaining away center of its path. By this, dust particles fall in the ground and this method removes 70% dust particles. So what is a cyclone collector? In the cyclone collector, particular objects including the poisonous gases which are being emitted from chimneys of different factories, they are put in a chamber and a centric and a centrifugal force is applied to them. So these dust particles will move around the chamber by keeping itself away from the center. By this, dust particles will fall in the ground and by this, 70% of dust particles can be removed. Another method to control particular object is the ESPS. What is ESPS? Electro static precipitator in the system to remove particles from waste gases electrical forces are applied within a chamber to waste gases in the system the poisonous gases which has also dust particles which are being emitted from the chimneys of different factories will put in a chamber and they are electrocuted or electrical forces applied to them. By this, 90% dust particles are removed from the poisonous gases emitted from the chimneys. When poisonous gases, including particulate objects, will be put in a chamber and they are given electrical force, and the, these dust particles will be attracted towards the electrodes, electrodes within the uh, ESPS. By this, 90% of dust particles can be removed. So these are you know, cyclone collectors and ESPS, they are meant to remove dust particles from the poisonous gases which are being emitted from the chimneys. Now I'll discuss, in order to remove pollutants from the gases what methods will have to be applied there are three methods one is the wet system in the system poisonous gases are forced to come in contact with the liquid which will absorb poisonous elements from the gases in the wet system the poisonous gases are forced are forced to come in contact with a liquid. In the system, poisonous gases are forced to come in contact with a, with a liquid. By this, the liquids will absorb poisonous elements from the poisonous gases. This is not the, this is not the wet system. And number two, dry system. In the system, poisonous gases forced to go through dry materials like dolomite, lime, limestone. In the system, Poisonous gases are forced to go through dry materials like dolomite, lime, 
limestone and these dry materials will act as a filter by these poisonous elements of the poisonous gases can be observed finally dry wood system in the system various absorbent mainly calcium hydride calcium hydroxide is spread in the hot gas in the dry wood system in the system various absorbent mainly calcium hydroxide is spread in the hot gas which are being emitted from the chimneys of factories by this pollutants objects from the poisonous gases will form like a dry powder like ashes so in the system the poisonous gases of different factories which are being emitted through the chimneys they are put in a chamber and and calcium hydroxide is spread to them by this pollutant pollutants objects from the poisonous gases will fall like dry powder like ashes so in this video we have discussed industrial pollution what it means its impacts and how industrial pollutants industrial pollutions which has particulate objects gases pollutants can be checked i request my viewers to watch this white board video to watch this white board attentively and write down write down the notes or you may listen me attentively without diverting your mind then you can also uh, write down our notes thank you my viewers have a good day